Greetings everybody. This afternoon I'm going to be talking about two of my paintings. Both of them involve this glass with water and a lemon that is inside of the glass. In this particular painting the thing that I find most interesting is the way the sunlight is illuminating the lemon and at the same time the way the light is distorted inside of the glass with the water. What I find most interesting is when you are looking at something that is basically invisible, such as clear water or clear glass, the way you can tell that it's there is by the reflections and the refractions that take place. So in this glass, we can see the light is coming through and it is illuminating the top of the actual lemon itself. And then as you see the lemon in the glass and also in the glass of water, you can see the distortions that have taken place between the facets on the glass. Another interesting thing that we can see is the way the facets actually pick up colors that are behind it and also in front of it. What I also find fascinating is the way that the light bounces off these glass candies. It's passing through this one, for instance, which is a yellowish glass, and it is illuminating the shadows. Look what happens in this one as well. You can tell it's clear glass with green and a white band and the two sides are this orange color. It's an interesting play of light that happens in the shadows. And also, if we look at the shadow on this one, there's a beautiful explosion of light into the shadow itself. Now, in this painting, we have a similar subject where we have the same glass. It's a much more simple composition because I only have a spoon, a slice of lemon, and a glass of water. This time the light is coming in from the opposite direction. And we can see this fascinating explosion in the shadow. I also am really interested in watching what happens inside the facets within the glass itself and how this end of the spoon becomes an abstraction in and of itself. If you were to frame just that part, you wouldn't really be able to tell that it's part of the spoon, but it picks up all of the colors that are around it, whether it's the sky or, I'm not sure if I was wearing a blue shirt at the time, but regardless, it's just an interesting interplay of colors that take place within the, within the spoon concavity. Some other things that we can see is the way the, the lemon is reflected on the top surface of the water. Now those are some of the things that I really do find fascinating. In each of these paintings that I do, I look for something that will really spark my interest and hopefully will spark yours as well. It's not just about copying something. It's not about taking a photograph and reproducing what you see. It's more about a search and discovery. And that's what I find so fascinating about doing these paintings and these studies, it's what I discover on the way to finishing the painting in and of itself. Well, I hope you enjoyed my explanation of my paintings and I will continue to do so in the future. So stay tuned. Thanks for listening. Now, if you're interested in finding out more about my paintings or owning one of my artworks, visit me on www.rogergordongallery.com. You can DM me or direct message me with any questions that you may have.